Hello everyone on YouTube. Uh, this is Janet McDonald, otherwise known as the Master's Advocate, talking. Um, I've been bitten recently by the steampunk bug, thanks to Fiona, otherwise known as Jennings 644. Um, following her instructions for a tag, I came up with my own version of the tag, which is just here. I'll just pick it up here and show you. There's a chain with a key on it. It's the kind of key that you use to wind up an, an old-fashioned clock. Um, I've done a lady holding a, but, uh, a clock with butterfly wings on it, and I put a frame around her using some chipboard, and it was very hard to cut out, I tell you. And um, first I used Tim Holt, yeah, Tim Holtz's Distressed Ink, the walnut, and uh, made the frame dark. And then right on the edges, like you can see here, there's gold. I used a gold leaf pen that I had from Stampers, which is a store near our place. And I just sort of scuffed it across the edges to make it look old, like an old gold um, frame, and I found some old pennies that I'd had around, and uh, this is King George. This penny is from 1946, and this one says 1941, and I'll just try and zoom in on it. Ooh. Are you picking that up? Hang on, I'll just see if the penny can be... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Gotta stop. Hello again, it's me. Um, I'm going to zoom in on this penny. I've managed to turn the light on on my camera. Pardon the quake, but I'm holding this with my hand. Okay, you can see it's a uh, penny. 1941, Canada. And I circled it with that gold uh, leaf pen and did the same thing with this one. Some of it got onto the penny itself, which looked pretty cool, so I left it like that. Now, to zoom out a bit, this tag is sort of like a tag slash bookmark. And at the top it says, Time Flies. And at the bottom it says, When You're Reading a Good Book. And it's true. When you're reading a really good book, you can really lose track of the time and people wonder where you are, etc, etc. So that's that's my tag. Um, oh yes, I had some chain which I'd gotten from Michael's. It's um, sort of a old copper colored and of course the key I put onto it. And um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a zeppelin here or what they call a um, an airship, and it was black and white when I printed it out, and I didn't like that, so I used some of the Tim Holtz's Distressed Ink in Walnut and just rubbed a little bit over the top. And now to my journal. This is an old journal that I had when I was in college. Um, originally it was so that my teacher could keep track of what we were reading in our English literature class, and we had to r write about each book that we read. Kind of boring, but um, I did it anyways. I, I got a, an A on it, naturally. I love reading. This was originally red. You can probably see that through here, but I took some um, bronze paint and went over this part here and this one and this corner, and to get these rivets I just used some hot glue and dribbled it on there, and when it hardened, <laughs> I colored it silver. Um, the charms, the fairy charms, are something I bought from a store downtown, and I made this clock out of a washer, a printout of a fob watch, and a glass puddle. And then I put a chain from that to this key, and glued the key down underneath this lock. Now, I don't know where I got these from. I just um, 
I guess I found them in my box of things to play with. And uh, up here, this is just a little plastic circle thing, which I thought looked kind of cool, so I glued it on there. And on the back, I'm just going to turn this journal over. Ugh. <laughs> it's kind of lumpy. Um, there's a little curled up piece of wire that I made. It looks sort of like a, a treble clef. And um, I just left the red red. And I found this on the street. And I thought, well, it's... I don't know what else to do with it, so I glued it on there. And this old key, believe it or not, goes to an office where I used to work when I was teaching ESL. But uh, the office closed down about two years ago and I forgot to hand in my key, so um, I just glued it there. Now, to get to the inside of the book, I just made um, a pocket out of some really nice writing paper that I found at Walmart and I cut it and glued it together just just so that it would hold this bookmark of mine, bookmark slash tag <laughs> and it looks kind of cute and there it is so that'll hold the tag and when I, oh years ago when I did buy this book was 1989, I think. Um, yeah, I'm that old. I painted a medieval vine down the side and a dragon and a knight with fire coming out of the dragon's mouth. And it says, of course, this book belongs to Janet MacDonald. And here are some of the entries. I just wrote stuff about each book that I red, and that's my steampunk journal. Okay, thank you very much for putting up with me. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye.